To make my bunny change shape, I want to make several copies with a different hue and saturation on each one. I'm going to unlock my background. And my first one is saved as Black Bunny. Select Subject. Adjustments. Hue Saturation. I'm going to turn the saturation up high. And then I'm going to save this one as Blue Bunny. Here's the key. You need to make sure you're saving all of these in the same folder. Same process. Now he's a little bit purple. File. Save as. Purple. And ideally I want to have 7 to 10 of these. Just to make it look a little bit better. Another thing you could do is you could actually start at the beginning of the color spectrum and kind of do them right in order. Okay, and again, we want to make absolutely positively sure we're saving all of these in the same folder. Pretend I spelled that one correctly. Okay. Now this is a new step. File, scripts, load files into stack. So we're going to use files and I can use my shift key or I can do control A to select all and OK. Here I can look and see all of the files. If I got one by mistake, I could click on it and do remove. I could also sort it by name. I can click OK and give it a minute because it's having to load every one of these individually. And that's what makes it a lot easier if we have these all together. So believe it or not, this is actually really simple. Window timeline. Okay, so I have all of my bunnies here. At the bottom, make sure you're under Create Frame Animation, and then you have to click right here to start. Okay, now we want to load our frames over here. Um, so we need to make sure that we hold the Shift key down and we select all of these. And we're going to click the three lines here under the timeline. And we're going to choose Make Frames from Layers. So choose Make Frames from Layers. So here are my 11 frames. I'm going to click on the first one, hold the Shift key, and the last one to select them all at once. Click the down arrow, and maybe I want to do a two-second delay between them. I can also rearrange them, so maybe I want to have the original black bunny in the front. Um, right now it's set to loop forever. I can click play. And so the very last one actually has a different background. Um, so if I wanted to, I could put that one at the beginning, or I could actually delete it, depending on how that looks. And so if I don't like that particular one, I can click on the frame and then choose Delete to delete the frame. And then again, I can play down here, and that looks a little bit better. Um, if that is still too fast, I held the shift key to highlight all of them. I can choose other and maybe put 0 .30 seconds. Um, and maybe I only want to have it animate for three times. Okay. Next, we're going to be ready to save it and then finally export it. 
file, save as. Okay, so now I'm just going to save it, Photoshop document. And then we're going to want to probably go ahead and highlight all of these just to make sure. And then we can do File, Export, Save for Web. Okay, File, Export, Save for Web. Um, so we're going to do an animated GIF. Um, I could adjust the transparency if I had it. Um, I can look at my color table. I can decide if I want to include copyright information right here. Um, I can click preview. You can't see it, but it's previewing on another on the other side here. Yep. Um, Hue bunny change color GIF. Save it, and then I can go and look in my folder to see how it looks. Here are my files. If I didn't have the right name, I could always click View and Details to find the animated GIF one. And there we have it. Don't forget to subscribe. Another tutorial from Southerly High School.